Hi, this is James from the Hornbill Technical Support Team and this is a short video to show you how to resolve the issue when database values appear in your system reports. As you can see here I'm using SupportWorks 750 Enterprise Client and ITSM uh, but this will apply to any version of your application or platform. Um, I'm currently on the Management Information and Reporting view and I've run the Open Calls by Analyst. Uh, report. As you can see here on the graph and in the data uh, it shows both the uh, amount of calls here and this 1 and 6 is actually the database values for status. Um, now there's a couple of ways that you can uh, get around this particular issue. Um, but one thing you can do is actually click on the reports themselves and then uh, back again. So if you click on the graph and then back and you can see how this is gone back to pending and resolved. Um, one thing um, that you may also notice is that um, if you do reports based on uh, and you, you, you decide to show all the actual columns in a list here, it may actually be in database format for sa for example opencall.logdatex instead of actually showing the display name. Um, one way to resolve this is if I just rerun the report again. Obviously by default it seems to be broken at the moment. Um, this is all held within the SWHTTP server service. So once you actually restart this service, what we'll see is that when we run the report, this issue will be resolved. So I'm just going to go back to the same report again, and you'll see automatically it's come up with the correct values. Uh, now the reasons why this happens is to do with the order that the uh, services are actually restarted. Uh, I'll do a separate demonstration or I'll also put it in the, in the comment notes below uh, in terms of the correct procedure and when you're doing this. Um, but yeah, uh, any, any comments or queries uh, please let me know.